and you look at uh, zero edge, zero edge was telling us that if it comes be between 0.3 and 0.4, that would be a, a negative reaction to the market. The re reaction in the market came, and that's the problem here. So you got the reaction, you are at 5. Uh, 13 right now on the SPY. The key number to watch for the SPY, good morning, everybody, it's 508. Let me know also if there's a sound issue, everybody, at any point so that I don't, because my mic earlier disconnected. The thing here to, to think about is not the reaction of the CPI. It's not the reaction of the CPI. Your main goal is to figure in the economical cycle where we are. That's it. You don't have any other job. Good morning, Ron, Travis. Good to see you guys. Ralph, good morning. It's to understand the economical cycle. If you want to make real money, it's to stay tight. See, last year when I started with the retirement account here at 223.9 and did 27% across four accounts or three accounts on the retirement thing, right? It's not to jump in and out. It's to buy a set that will provide you income. And that's it. And understand the cycle, whether it's that, whether it's the crypto account right there, the 22, the 7 or 30. I have another 20, is 50. I have the options. It's to divide your portfolio in a such a manner that you're not going to be wrecked, everybody, during the cycle. Because it's very hard right now to know, are we two years off, 2021, 2022, and we started at 2023 coming back up with some enthusiasm, some uh, greed? Are we here? Is there a lot of money on the sideline left with delusion, new paradigm, and then blah, 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 the bear trap in three years after the next election? So this is the key. Where are we in the economical cycle? This is how you make money. Because then you buy assets and you, you hold for three, four years for each cycle. Next presidential elections is coming. And that's going to be key. So when you have a sell-off like this morning in crypto, in assets, you, go, you, you need to go asset-specific and wonder which asset is going to make me the most money. So to me, if I see Bitcoin... Coming back 57.65, boom, I buy more Bitcoin and Ethereum and some of the cryptos that I like. That's the strategy. If we go break the 508 huge support on SPY and it goes 575, 585, guess what? I'm going to buy a lot of stocks that I am going to add to the portfolio. So I'm already placed. I'm already in the race, right? So all I have to do is the simple, the, the, the easiest race right now is you go to the portfolio and you look at the portfolio, the $73,000 account, the $100,000 account, and look at the best position I will add. This is key. This is all about asset. The market will give you an opportunity, buy. So let's go to the probability power indicator. Let's look at the most important chart, the bond. If you look at the ZN, I've talked to you for weeks about this inverted and shoulder, okay? Now, why is that important? Because everything is on that shoulder, right? Everything is on that shoulder, everyone. See that shoulder, 108 here, 113, 108 this morning. It's coming close, 113. If we take the 108, then we have a problem. We break to the 103. And that would be a new low with a double bottom coming back to the lower high, which would be the 118, 126. So we really don't want to be past the 108 too much. We really want to keep that shoulder on the bond. This is going to be your most important shot with the 408 support, 508, sorry, support on SPY and the 66,000 on Bitcoin. I'm telling you, those numbers right there, 66, 65, let's put it 65, 508. If we crack down, boom, this one goes to 475, 485, and if we crack down the 65, this one goes to 57K. And the tools will show you that. So if this is helpful, your likes, comments are appreciated. 
I'm trying to navigate the sound issues this morning, which is not fun. And next week, I'll we'll send you an email. We'll post on all social media. We are going to move from Discord slowly but surely to our new community group. And you'll say it'll be really good for you guys to share. I'll post some free classes on how to trade options, trade futures, get started with trading view. So hopefully I'm back. So the next thing we are going to watch, hopefully, is let me know if you have the sound, should be back, is going to be straight up the SPY. I want to show you the SPY chart. Right? So look here. We're going to choose switch to a weekly chart on the SPY. You should notice that we touched the edge of the calculator and we are rejecting this morning. If we reject and stay below the institutional zone of 520, we did that. We rejected the 524 edge with an 85% chance of a short. So look what's coming up this morning, which is not good for the overall market. Institutional selling is happening. Major blocks are selling, minor blocks are selling for the short term, which is day trading. The long term is still up for buying, which means that we are looking to buy the SPY back for 75, 485 area would be a great, fantastic re-entry in the cycle. You know, somewhere here to the institutional zone retracement here. See, it's here. It's rejecting with 85% chance of probability of a short. See, on the sell side here, go down, go back to the institutional edge here, red dash, which is the institutional zone, or the edge. So I know already, it's like having a GPS. I know already it's going to go from 490 to roughly 480. I know already. So I know that this is the part where I want to buy. I want to buy around this 475, 490 area on the SPY. And same here uh, for Bitcoin and everything when we do the crypto review. You know in advance what you are looking for. So within that, what am I going to do? I'm going to look. Uh, I don't have the stock scanner with me today. I have the chance, that's well, let's go here. Let's go to our template. And where are our stocks? Mark stocks. Mark final stocks. Probably this one. And let's look at the stock scanner, or the power indicator scanner. And we are going to look at some of the opportunities that we want to add to on the pullback, right? So, you can see here at the top, I have Mara. I'm not going to do Mara. I want to see after the halving. You have the halving in seven days. Okay, let's look at the font. Let's put that uh, normal font because I cannot see crap. And let's look at the, that's a three-in-one scanner, swing trading first. Then we are going to sort by, uh, by, Descending is fine. Sound the colon bar ROI, it's fine. And let's look at what's uh, showing up. So we will want to add, right, into micro strategy. Remember, micro strategy is interesting because when Bitcoin goes up 1%, Micro strategy MSTO goes up 2.2%. So it's like a leverage ETF into your cryptos. And you don't even have to play with cryptos. You don't have to be afraid of Coinbase or any exchange taking your coins. Boom, you buy the stock MSTO. This is like a leverage play up and down on Bitcoin. So just a, a, um, a little bit of a tip and tricks. I think Intel is going to be interesting here. There's 3536. It's coming back towards the October low. I want to add into our family portfolio AMD. 
I have an eye on Twilio. And of course, I like the FDIG, Shopify. Shopify, I did a, a video that Shopify around 70 is a great re-entry. Palantir, you know, Palantir is going to be a great buy here between that 19 and that 22. And look here, some stuff are weak because Apple is about to recross the October low. If we were in a raging, raging bull market, how come are we going back below the October low? Tesla is below the October low. Apple is below the October low. You need to be careful, guys, on some of the stuff. So if this is helpful, your likes, comments are super appreciated so that we come, we do more content on a regular basis for you guys. But this is the stuff that tells me that there's a high probability that we are going to go back towards the 470 to the 490 in the SPY, guys. This, this is a, a, a huge probability because you look at the stuff already in the cycle. Tesla broke the October low. Apple is two or three points to bro break the October low. Those are two of the magnificent seven to break the October lows. That would push the SPY right into our institutional support here and here. I told you the 508 is key. Then there's the 500, the 480, and the 490. That's it. And this is going to, to be where it's going to land between 470 and 490 if there is a decent retracement. That retracement leading to the election and hopefully, you know, new president, but who knows? Who cares? I'm not here to make politics. I'm here to make money. Boom. We have a huge people piling back, adding to their position for a cycle top towards 550, which would bring us to the SPX back above the 5,500. But right now, we are going to probably fight the, the, the round number, the 500 on the SPY. Okay? So hopefully that was helpful. This was the stock market review, guys. And with the big idea of always keeping in mind the economical cycle.